Hello viewers and welcome to this edition of Global Vibes. My guest today is Albert Brule, the Chief Executive Officer of United Way Thunder Bay. So nice to see you here, Albert, and thank you so much for your time. We thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you, Rupa, for inviting me. I really appreciate this opportunity. Thank you. So, Albert, the show Global Vibes mm -hmm. is all about feeling the pulse of the global community in Thunder yeah. Bay. So we really look forward to hearing all those exciting programs and initiatives that you have taken mm -hmm. to uh, welcome and accept and present such um, fantastic programs and ideas. So, but tell us a little bit about your association with United Way. How did that happen? Oh, wow. Well, did uh, it bring you to Thunder Bay? It did indeed, <laughs> actually. And I am ever so grateful for that opportunity. Um, I've been involved in the nonprofit sector and doing community work for most of my career. Um, but as it turns out, I went to school here in Thunder Bay many years ago <laughs> at Confederation College, mm -hmm. and I've maintained a connection to the city. And so I would come and visit and uh, love, love the North, love the, the global vibe in this community. Honestly, it's such a rich uh, community with different cultural perspectives and activities and events. So I loved the vibe mm -hmm. here. My daughter came to school here as well. Okay. And so a few years ago, my wife and I said, you know, if ever there were an opportunity to move to Thunder Bay, we should jump at it. Wow. And within a couple of weeks of saying that out loud, yeah. I learned that there was an opening at the United oh. Way. Can you believe that? And it's our asset that you're here. Well, <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Very kind so of you to say. So happy to have you here. And uh, I've just absolutely loved it. Between the community, the volunteers, mm -hmm. uh, our team at the United Way, our mm -hmm. wonderful partners uh, that, that we get to work with, sure. it's been fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and we are so happy to have you as well thank you. as part of United Way. Now, tell us a little bit about the organization. What is the organization's um, mission, vision, and yeah. mandate, and uh, what all, it does it All that good stuff about, yes. yeah. So, of course, United Way, as a, as a, a, a global movement, there are United Ways in, in many countries around the world, and here in Canada, uh, we have... I think it's 22 United Ways across okay. Canada. It's a network of independent organizations. So United Way Thunder Bay is a, is a registered charitable organization with its own board of directors, but we are part of that United Way network. And the network itself um, is really, uh, of course, focused on bringing community stakeholders, different players together, okay. primarily to address issues of poverty uh, now, we've evolved over the years, and so part of our value uh, statement includes uh, a commitment to uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, concerned about social justice, concerned about ensuring that the programs that we fund, so we are primarily a funder. We, we raise money in community um, to support um, programs, projects, and initiatives that community partners deliver. So we don't deliver the programs, we fund them. Okay. And uh, so part of that, that you know, goal and mandate and mission is to engage businesses, individuals, unions, schools, church groups, uh, just you know, citizens Everybody. at large in giving back to communities, supporting different you know, food bank, uh, the shelter, Mm -hmm. Etc. So those are the the kinds of right. programs we support, and and it's all about helping people reach their full potential. We want everyone to have that opportunity Fantastic. to pursue their education, get employment, or mm -hmm. whatever they're striving to achieve. So is it? It's a charitable, non-for-profit. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. yeah. And so. Um, you know, one of our major, most visible uh, activities is our annual campaign that mm -hmm. runs typically from mid-September to end of November. Okay. And we have workplaces throughout the community and, and actually throughout the region. So we are United Way of Thunder Bay, but exactly. we serve all of northwestern Ontario. And, and we love the partnerships that we've developed with um, businesses and um, government organizations and even folks like the OPP who... Uh, all across uh, our, our region have been so uh, supportive of 
doing food drives or uh, helping raise money, um, as do many businesses and organizations here in, in Thunder Bay. So we, we do this very large scale campaign. The funds that are collected are then invested mm -hmm. in community. So you know from personal experience, is it okay, can I announce that you were part of one of our review panels? Yes. <laughs> um, so we engage volunteers from the community to help us evaluate projects, projects. and programs and help decide where those funds can be invested to create the biggest impact. And if I may add, that was a very interesting experience. It was I'm a so very glad. inclusive and democratic process that we went through. Yeah, consensus building yeah. and a little yeah. bit of <laughs> tussle here and there, yeah. right? Well, you know, because there's so many worthy projects. And Absolutely. you know, and you want to fund everybody, uh, right? You, you, you hit the nail on the head. You, yeah, you want to support everybody. Who's... We, every, pretty much every program that Correct. we review, you think, oh, that's great. Yeah. And then you review another one. Oh, that's great. And we only have so many funds. That's true. Um, and that's really in part what we're hoping to, to, to accomplish is to inspire more people to think, and I know it's tough these days. I mean, everyone's experiencing financial challenges. Okay. And, and yet, so interesting to me that sometimes when times are really tough, and sometimes for the folks who really are perhaps most negatively impacted by things like inflation or the COVID uh, pandemic, Sometimes they're the most generous and they really, they step up because they really know what it's like mm -hmm. to, you know, maybe not know where one's next meal is coming from sure. or, you know, will I have a job? Um, you know, what are some of the basic needs that, 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 that I can help support for others because sure. I've been there myself is the, the kind of the feeling we get. Mm -hmm. So the Thunder Bay United Way caters to the region or yeah. just Thunder Bay? Okay. No. Nope. Yeah. So, you know... I, being a hub, obviously, okay. many of the programs and, and services and, and projects here are based in Thunder Bay. Okay. But they serve the region, and, uh, and we're striving to do more. So maybe we can talk a little bit more about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Hold on to that thought, Albert. We'll yes. be right back to your views. Stay tuned. We have so much more to learn from Albert, especially the programs. Yeah? We want to learn about the activities. Awesome. So we'll be right back. Hello viewers, welcome back. You're watching Global Vibes and my guest today is Albert Brule, CEO, Chief Executive Officer of United Way Thunder Bay. So Albert, before we went on a break, you said you're going to tell us, you're going to enlighten us with some of your um, this amazing projects that you do. Yeah. So, you know, we were talking a little bit about, you know, yes, we are the United Way of Thunder Bay, mm -hmm. but we serve all of Northwestern Ontario. Okay. So that's basically from the Manitoba border yeah. to... Um, White River. And so we are striving to, to explore ways that we can do more out in, the, in the, the region at large. And I had mentioned our partnership with the Ontario Provincial Police. Yes. Um, so they're located, you know, in communities across the Northwest. Uh, so they have collaborated with us. Um, and, you know, some of the banks obviously have branches in different communities. Even the LCBO uh, is one of our partners. They do an, an annual collection. So when you go to perhaps pick up some, some refreshments from the LCBO at a certain time of our campaign, uh, you might be offered the opportunity to make a donation to the United Way, whether you're, you know, in Kenora uh, or here or Dryden or wherever. And so... We want to make sure when people from those yeah. communities are donating and supporting the United Way, we want to ensure that there are services and programs that we can fund to help, you know, meet needs okay. for everyone in all communities. So um, that's where we're really proud of our long-standing relationship with the um, 211 program. If you're familiar with 211, the 211 program, yes. uh, people can just you know, it's like, it's like 411 or 911 or yeah, yeah. any of those, but it's 211 and you can call from anywhere if you're looking for help, if they're, you know, looking to know where the closest food bank is or looking for information around mental health and wellness, okay. um, shelter for that matter. So 
Uh, we've been a long-standing partner. In fact, we helped fund uh, and, and kickstart the 211 program okay. here in the north. And uh, so that's something that clearly everyone in the region can access and benefit from. And this is 24-7? Yes, uh, they are, it's, it's an amazing um, program. Uh, you know, uh, they also have a website that you can go visit to, okay. to you know, right. look for agencies or information. And uh, the Regional Food Distribution Association, the RFDA, is, yeah. is one of the organizations that we have had a long-standing partnership and relationship with. Um, and more recently, we've had the opportunity to work um, in partnership with the federal government mm -hmm. for their Community Services Recovery Fund. And that was one of the panels that you were a part of uh, to evaluate these wonderful projects yeah. and, and initiatives all across Northwestern Ontario. And we were really privileged to have uh, you know, a generous uh, amount of funding. Mm -hmm. um, again, would have been nice to have more, <laughs> uh, but, but we used the funds, I think, in a very um, impactful way, right. ensuring that we were supporting projects in communities across the region, including many projects here in Thunder Bay and some that were kind of of benefit to the entire Northwest region. And um, along with that, we invited folks like you and, and folks from other communities. Different organizations Different as organizations, well. different communities, yeah. different perspectives, because it wasn't just uh, exclusively social services, which no. is normally what we fund. There were arts projects, recreation projects, um, different uh, faith-based, yeah, yeah uh, all kinds of, of, of marvelous initiatives. So it was wonderful to have representation and engagement and participation from um, different community members from different communities. So how often do you um, have these announcements? How often do you go out for calls for um, receiving applications? So we typically have one major call that okay. we do annually, and that would be to fund um, you know, programs on a maybe a more substantial scale where we're basically providing a year's worth of funding or a, you know, a larger scale initiative or a project. Um, but we, we did introduce a few years ago mm -hmm. and we found it was really um, a great way to ensure that we're continually meeting the needs, emerging needs of the community. We began to introduce some smaller pots of, of money or smaller calls for proposals, maybe for uh, shorter term projects or special initiatives. Right. And, and then that allowed, you know, because if, if we do a call for, for proposals in, in December and then give money out in say January or February, and there's not another call to the following year yes. and something happens in May, yeah, Got what that. do we do? Mm -hmm. uh, now that Community Services Recovery Fund, that was a very big uh, call. Uh, and of course it was a one-time special funding initiative of the federal government in a kind of a post-COVID recovery yeah. mode. Mm -hmm. So helping organizations, nonprofit organizations recover from the impacts of COVID. And I'm really excited about some of those projects going forward. And I think we're gonna see um, you know, some, some tremendous benefit for our region, for uh, community members who will, will access those programs. Fantastic. Um, Albert, so since you're giving out all these um, you know, funds for uh, various different kinds of projects, is there a monitoring? Is, are you tracking or are you visiting these organizations post-award to see the results or impacts or outcomes uh, from the project? That's a, a great question and the, the answer is yes. Because that's what we want to know, yeah. that you know, what is the impact? Yeah. What is all these projects making an impact on the community? Exactly, and so we do, um, at a minimum, an annual um, outcomes report and impact, uh, I guess you might call it a uh, kind of a, an impact I don't know, annual report. Okay. How many people uh, accessed services or programs that were funded by United sure. Way of Thunder Bay? What kinds of programs? Which programs were addressing the needs of children and youth or families or uh, homeless individuals or people experiencing food insecurity? 
And so there's a little bit of information about the different projects and uh, the outcomes and how many people benefited. But what we're feeling and what we've heard from our donors and from other community members is we, maybe we need to do more. And okay. your suggestion, you know, going and checking in even throughout the year and meeting with our partners, partners. and yeah. maybe doing a special um, story about here's a recent success. And so yeah. uh, I'll just give you a, a, a simple example. Last um, September, so, you know, partway through our year, uh, we had an opportunity to hear about a tremendous success story of a project that we had helped to fund uh, with Elevate uh, Northwest. I don't know, you may be familiar with them. They're addressing um, homeless individuals in the encampments in mm -hmm. Thunder Bay. Mm -hmm. And so some of the funding that we had provided and, and support from other funders had helped um, something in the neighborhood of 17 individuals move out of those tents and into um, either sort of a transitional housing, accessing different supports, and helping basically move people yeah. out of homelessness towards more permanent solutions. And, you know, those are the kinds of successes that we, will, mm -hmm. we love to be able to share and to um, let people who are contributors know your donation is making a difference. Imagine the difference for someone, sure. you know, the impact for the, the individuals that benefited from that uh, initiative. And so the more of that that we can do, the more I am hopeful that people will be inspired to. I was just going to add, it's so yeah. motivational, right? Yeah. On that positive, positive note, we will take another short Already? break. Already? Another yes, break? Yes, I know. <laughs> Time flies, eh? Yeah. We'll be right back, dear viewers. Stay tuned. Welcome back, viewers. You're watching Global Vibes, and we are with Albert, who is the CEO of uh, United Way Thunder Bay. Um, Albert, um, is there any special project that you want to highlight and talk to us about that is inclusive, um, that is accessible to, to the communities of Thunder Bay and the region, especially, mm -hmm. specifically, um, the new immigrants and the, um, the refugee communities and um, new, um, newcomers who are yeah. coming to the town. Yeah. Well, um, I, I know I shared with you um, some time ago uh, a project that we're really proud to be a partner on. It's not exclusively United Way of Thunder Bay. Okay. It's yeah. a community collaborative that involves the Thunder Bay Public Library, it involves uh, the Thunder Bay Community Foundation, the Lakehead Social Planning yeah. Council, uh, and the City of Thunder Bay through the Community Safety and Wellbeing Program, Programs, which I'm sure yeah. you've heard lots about. Um, and it's called Empower the North. And it's a collaborative platform. It's online. Um, and it serves two functions, I would say. One is to project information or to share information, broadcast information about activities, events, whether they're cultural events, um, fundraising events, community events, celebrations. Um, organizations can sign up and promote their activities, their events, and their projects. So there is a sign-up process? Uh, yes. Not a registration, but just signing you, up? Yeah, it's just, it, it, you know... It, we, we wanted to balance, um, what would you call it, uh, privacy with okay. yeah. accountability so Correct. that you don't have anonymous someone posting something ah, that's okay. maybe yeah. inappropriate. So, so we know who's posting. Um, and so organizations and individuals can get involved, share information, mm -hmm. um, and we want it to be a bit of a storytelling platform as well. And in particular, we thought, you know, there's so much... Uh, talent. There are so many individuals with very unique stories to share, uh, and and in that regard, I am thinking somewhat about, you know, stories I've either had shared with me firsthand, or I've attended events that um, were organized either by or with or for 
newcomers, uh, different cultural organizations, um, celebrations, mm -hmm. musicians and dancers and, and storytellers as well. And I'm thinking, what can we do to amplify those voices, to get um, more information and more understanding and more empathy and appreciation for the rich contributions that mm -hmm. newcomers bring to our community. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I can't remember if I told you even about the, um, the international cookbook idea that we, we did. Uh, we had students, uh, primarily from the two post-secondary institutions okay. from different countries, sharing recipes and stories about some of their favorite meals mm -hmm. from their home country. And um, it, it was really so interesting, first of all, the different types of food. Who can say no to food. Who can yeah. say no to food. <laughs> but, but more than that, it's sort of like, well, what's the origin of that dish or that tradition? Mm -hmm. Or what do you, when do you eat that special meal? Is right. it for a, a there particular... There is a story. There's, there's a always context. a story. Yes, of course. And the stories were told by and the recipes were presented by these students. Okay. And so I thought, isn't that a lovely way to, and food is, a, as you say, it's a way to bring mm -hmm. people together and, and to share cultures and to learn about one another. So that's an example. Um, so that Empower the North website, uh, which is www.empowerthenorth.ca, okay. very simple, right. uh, is meant to be this platform for voices, for storytelling, for promoting events, and we absolutely are committed to it being welcoming, um, a safe space to tell stories, to be able to express your opinions, um, to have conversations. So there might be a, a discussion group or a, um, a kind of a, a forum for mm -hmm. sharing ideas, sharing different perspectives, and, and sharing different voices. And uh, so we're, we're very excited about that initiative. And we're, we're hoping soon to be able to launch a bit of a recruitment effort inviting people who have stories to share ah. or have unique talents. Uh, I love the idea of photographers or videographers mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. uh, artists, even you know, music, dance, theater, um, poetry could be shared so on this platform to promote different voices, different cultures, so different perspectives. So it's interactive, it's, it, it's, it's audio visuals can be. It, it can be, okay. yes. In fact, the, the more, I guess, digital and, yeah. and alive it feels, we want to animate this Gosh, website. We don't it. want it to just be this kind of yeah. dry, static boring, and, yeah, static and, yeah. thing. Yeah. And so this, is the, this was recently launched. Yes, we launched it in January. Um, and so it's very early in its um, sort of development, mm -hmm. but Already, we are seeing you know people coming forward and sharing some stories, sharing some events, sharing volunteer opportunities. That's yeah. another exciting thing that uh, that we want to be able to do is offer um, community organizations the chance to post volunteer opportunities that would be open to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, but personally, I know of a number of newcomers who have made a very strategic and smart decision to say, I'm going to volunteer so that I get out into community and I network and I meet people. And we know stories of people that are having trouble finding work because, well, you know, they, they, their background is from another country True. or their experiences are elsewhere and it's not. So how do they break into that yeah. network? Quite often it can be done through uh, volunteering. So True. we hope that when people come to visit Empower the North, uh, they'll see more and more of those kinds of volunteer opportunities. Mm -hmm. And people can volunteer to be a, a storyteller on, on, the, on the site. And that's, that was what I was referring to, our desire to uh, encourage diverse voices to use that platform to, to share your skills and your, your, your ideas. I have less than a few seconds oh, <laughs> before we wrap up. But in designing all of these programs, um, is community engagement an important component to it? And I, it might be a very lengthy answer. It's, it's too long for, for that. <laughs> yeah. so, but absolutely. And yeah. we want to do more of it. And so, you know, come visit our website. Exactly. Give us a call. 
we, 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 we are community. That's the United Way, United. And what's the website, United uh, Way? It's uwaytbay.ca. Oh. U-way-t-bay. 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 C-A. Okay. So on that note, thank you so much, Albert, for all that you're doing. There's thank you. Um, a lot of commitment, um, dedication that you need when you are working in the in a community service, a community engagement yeah. uh, process or activity. Well, I so love it, you. so thanks so yeah, much. Yeah, that, that's exactly the point. You should yeah. love what you do. I do. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed this edition of uh, Global Vibes. Till we meet again, stay well.